Hi, I'm Shagun, a correspondent with Down to Earth, and today I'm going to talk about the impact of hydropower electric projects in the Himalayan region. The Himalayan region is regarded as the powerhouse of India. Government estimates show that the Himalayas, with an installed capacity of 46,850 megawatt, have the potential to generate 1,15,550 megawatt of power. To tap this potential, hydropower projects are mushrooming in the Himalayan arc. Till November 2022, the 10 states and two union territories in the region, barring West Bengal, had 81 large hydropower projects. And 26 projects under construction, and another 320 large projects in the pipeline. But this over-exploitation of our great mountain ranges has come with a price. Both the eastern and western Himalayan regions in India are one of the world's most thickly populated mountain regions. They are also part of a seismically active zone. Disasters linked to hydropower projects in the Himalayan region have become more frequent in recent years. The latest example of this can be seen in Uttarakhand's Joshimat town, where more than 800 buildings have developed cracks due to subsidence. Where one of the reasons for this was the ongoing Tapovan Vishnugarh hydropower project. In 2021, a rock and ice avalanche destroyed the Rishi Ganga project and severely damaged the Vishnugarh Tapovan hydropower electric project, leaving over 200 dead and with estimated losses of rupees 1500 crore. In July 2022, flash floods following a cloud burst in Himachal Pradesh's Parvati Valley damaged the 100 megawatt Malana hydropower electric project and led to about five deaths. The 2022 compilation report by Sandrup shows that hydropower projects act as force multipliers when cloud bursts happen close to them. In 2021, at least 11 hydropower projects had faced cloud burst induced deluges and damages in lesser or greater degrees. Experts say that most hydropower plants being built in the Himalayas, particularly in its upper reaches, now follow run-of-the-river designs. Which appear to have a low environmental impact. Unlike conventional hydroelectric plants with an impoundment facility, run-of-the-river projects do not require large-scale displacement of people, forest diversion, or land to be submerged. But the fact is, the impacts are not reduced, but only delayed in such projects. In Arunachal Pradesh, whose waters have the highest hydropower potential in the country. A series of disasters have marred construction works at the 2000 megawatt Lower Subhansiri hydropower electric project, which is the largest run of the river hydropower project under construction in the country. Recurrent disasters, clearance hurdles, and opposition from residents have also made hydropower generation economically unviable. In the past six years, from 2016-17 to 2020-21-22, India's large hydropower projects have contributed just around 10% of the total power generation. Over-dependency on hydropower electric projects can lead to more disasters. What we need instead is proper strategies and alternative measures to make sure the energy we need is produced responsibly and distributed equally. To know more about the latest news on science, technology, and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.